Look at the front where it says Ames real big. All right, everyone, I'm out here in Green Tree, PA. I know this was a heavily requested video for me to do, um, and I'm finally able to do it. But I'm out here at Burger King, another abandoned Burger King. I know we've been doing a ton of them lately, but that's just how it is. Like, there was a string of Pizza Huts I did in a row, and now we're on a Burger King kick, you know? So, we're at this one that closed in 2022. And I actually ate in this one a few times while it was open. It wasn't open very long. Only a handful of years. But I ate in this one a couple of times. And, you know, the funny thing about this is... This was actually a new location. A restaurant right across the street behind the camera there is called the Brighton Hot Dog Shop. And many years ago, that was a Burger King as well. Now, that hadn't been a Burger King in several, several years. And actually, the Brighton Hot Dog Shop, their food's pretty good. And I'm probably going to go over there and get something to eat as soon as I'm done doing this video. But um, I just think it's funny that we had a Burger King that went abandoned, became the Brighton Hot Dog Shop. Now we have another Burger King that has gone abandoned and who knows what will become of this one. Uh, lots of lights are still on at this location. Even some of the drive through signage is still on. So uh, very cool. But anyway, what are we doing sitting in the car? Let's get out of the car and take a look at this place. Now, if you remember the one I did at the Aliquippa Burger King, these two mirror each other. The insides look almost identical. So anyway, let's go take a look at it. It's pretty cool. All right, there's your Burger King here in Green Tree. Some of my old stomping grounds. I like how that's lit up above the uh, drive through window and some of the lights are still on here. It's weird. But we'll take a look through here. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit because it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, I don't even have to. Yep. And it's like the one in Aliquippa. The, the soda fountain was right here. I remember that. They had one of those uh, Coca-Cola freestyle machines there. The registers were there. Seating over there. And, you know, I, I actually have a funny story about this one. It was kind of messed up in a way. I remember one of the times I stopped here with one of my coworkers. We were placing our orders, and <laughs> he was getting a little frustrated because of the service. The service was subpar. And actually, while we were there, somebody was here visiting their loved one that was working here and literally had their infant child walking around on the counter, which I thought was not right, but that's what they did. And, uh, yeah, so that just uh, made people more upset. Yeah, here's the ones that are still open by Tom's King. Tom's King is a franchisee of Burger King, and they went bankrupt and closed over 90 locations, to my understanding. Get a free Whopper. I can't. You closed this up. Oh, let's take a look through this window here. Yeah, they closed several, several months ago. Well, not no, actually, no, they didn't. This one closed in the fall, and for like the last couple of months, people have been asking me to do a video here and I just never got around to it there's your pizza pan sign right there for the BK logo taste is king not here let's take a look through this window here yeah I actually remember sitting at these seats right here like I said it looks very similar to that of the one in Aliquippa Here are the other ones that are still open. And actually, yeah, speaking of Burger King, there's the Brighton Hot Dog Shop right over there. Let me zoom in. Old BK. All day. Ain't that something. And on the other side, you'll actually be able to tell like how it resembles the Burger King in Wexford slash Cranberry Township has that, that facade that a lot of older BKs were famous for. And with the uh, solarium anyway. Restrooms are back here. More seating. Don't toss your receipt. Get a free Whopper. I'd like to, but you closed. Left the signs up and all. 
think that's funny. Let's go ahead for a walk. Big parking lot. Lots of spaces available here. There's another look at it. Don't mind our gas prices. We have some of the worst in the country. I hate this place for that reason. South Carolina was so nice because I literally got gas for a dollar cheaper a gallon. <sighs> Pathetic. And I know there are states that have it worse than us too. There's that sign there that faces a side road here. Love that. The little tiny sign. Garbage area. It's all empty. Double drive through for double the Whopper pleasure. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about. Look, you see the nugget sign lit up on that one. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, it is on this one. It's not blinking though. Yeah, buddy. It is blinking. Chicken fries. Oh, you son of a gun. I, I can't even get those. You guys still in there? I mean, you got your sign lit up and all. You guys got to still be in there. You're just going to ignore me. You don't feel like working. I honestly am not surprised about that because they didn't like to work anyway. But anyway, what's going on? Hello? Used to it. That's why they closed too. They didn't have people working here. I mean, they did, but they didn't really do a whole lot. At least the times I came here, it was rough. I'm not saying everybody that worked here was like that but when I came here it's like there was no urgency <laughs> like and I get it it's fast food I love that that that's still on here surprised they didn't take that off restaurant closed boy someone was mad they tore that all up chill out bagged ice now available the hell do I need a Ford's ice cold out here bread tray more bread trays drain Vanilla iced coffee. Use yellow spot lid. Okay. Let's see what we see in here. Oh, is that a coupon? To let us know what you think. Oh, it's just on a receipt. Have to hold the thing down here because I don't know that you'll be able to see very well up here because they have that blue mesh on the glass. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. But that's why we go over here to the right. Look at this. Look at this. Now you can see right into the kitchen. No problem. Oh, look at that. Oh, ow. I just noticed it. Look, all the BK signs are sitting in there. Oh, I want one of those little ones. <laughs> look, there's another one way back there. I don't know if you can see it, but look. Whoop. You see it back there between the ladder? Look, how cool is that? I want one of those little dogs right there. <laughs> that is cool. Anyway, and yeah, they still got all the lights on. That's a special kind of skill to be able to walk backwards without falling and breaking my ass. <laughs> Wonder who I'd get in touch with to be able to try and get one of those. That'd be pretty sweet. Especially my history of BK videos. How many have we done on this channel? There's another look into the building, another sign. I like how that's still lit up too, like where the fries would stay warm, orders would stay warm right there, those lights. Huh. Very funny. Thank you, you rule. You, you guys suck because you guys are closed. You would rule if you were open and I'd be able to eat. Whopper, have it your way, I can't. And they're starting to tease me with a new commercial with a little jingle on it, which you might see in the next Burger King video, because I got two more coming. <sighs> yep, two more abandoned BKs that you'll be seeing videos from here very soon. 
Look at this, big parking lot too. I hope something moves in here and I hope something will utilize this space and make good use of it. But until then, that's all right. I'm gonna go over there and get me something yummy to eat in the other Burger King. <laughs> and I'll see you later. See, there's the other Burger King I was telling you about. Looks exactly like it other than the colors all being different. Pretty cool. Guess I can't eat, I guess they're closed. They still had their open sign lit up though. Lame. Ah, <sighs> figures. Can never eat. Well, that's a bummer. I was really looking forward to getting something to eat, but I guess they close at like five o'clock on a Sunday or something, because I know the one in Chippewa does. Why even be open? Open at like noon and then close at like one o'clock. There, that's, you know, that makes sense. <sighs> oh well. I really enjoyed doing these videos. That was a fun one. It sucks that that one was closed because I would have got something to eat in there. And I actually would have done a quick, like, couple of shots in there for you guys to see what it looks like inside post BK. But glad that one's still around. Hopefully something takes over the other one across the street. I'd really like to know how I'd be able to get one of those smaller BK signs from inside of that restaurant. And actually, when I was talking to uh, my significant other... She said she wanted one as well, so it's like, what do we do to try and get one? I don't know who we would contact. Obviously, I'm not going to go break into the place and take one. That's not how that's going to work, but I would like to ask someone if I'd be allowed to buy one or just get one. You know, I don't want to sell it. I just want to put it up on the shrine at home with all the other random retail stuff like the Ames, the Kmart Hill stuff. There's a person walking behind me. And uh, the Chevron sign I just got, the Pepsi sign I just got too. Hi, person walking behind me again. So it'd be cool to add that to the shrine of things. Anyway, thank you all for watching, everybody. Take care, stay awesome, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. And I guess I have to find someplace else to eat. Damn it. Angry. Get, cut me up cut me a break. I'm I'm angry. Could go over to the bowling alley and get myself a nice cardboard pizza there for like ten bucks. Really like how they made it all nice and new. Looks good. But the pizza still tastes like paper. That's alright, I guess I'll make a trip down to Taco Bueno. At least that paper's enjoyable. Talk to you guys later. Bye.